Morning, how are you doing? Here we are again with uh, the Symphobia series. Uh, there's been an update uh, to 1.6 of the whole range. And I think I'm going to divide this into sort of three. The, the first part will look at some new content, which is for Sympho Symphobia 1 and Symphobia 2, some new goodies. The second thing is they've updated some of the legato, uh, and I'll take a look at that. Uh, in the original reviews, I pretty much said some of it's fantastic and some of it isn't, so we'll see how that's changed. And then the third thing is some new general features. Uh, YouTube have changed how they do their uh, caption things, and I'm not sure I'm getting it. So I might not have the overlay on this. You know you're looking at it, and I might just write some times in the description to jump to if you're bored of my wittering, which... If you've got any sense, you will be. So, this is new. Um, what we have here is String Ensemble Saltasto Ensembles. Saltasto is playing soft and thin. You do a thing with a bow. I'm not a string player, I don't know, but you do a thing with a bow and it comes up soft and thin. There are two patches, Ensemble and Perception, and I'll tell you about the difference in a minute, but let's just play a bit. isn't it? It's nice. Goes up pretty high. Oi. It's still going. It's still going. E6 goes to... Um, and that's your soul tasto, really. And I said there were these. There's two two different patches. There's they introduced at some point this difference between switching and stacking. This is stacking. So what you're hearing is an ensemble. You play across the whole keyboard. Put that up a bit. There you go. There we are. So playing all at once, like it's an ensemble. It's not really recorded like that. It's recorded all with violins, and you can break it down. If I switch to switch. I can switch to just the violins and so on and so forth. And the only difference between this patch and this one that says Perception, because they will look almost identical, is that, well, the only apparent difference is that this is switching between them all. So I'm just playing violins, there's nothing else. I think, what's the point if you've got this switch? The point is that in the ensemble version, which I'll just go back to, what they actually do, I, I can't be bothered to demo it, but I, I played around with it just now. And essentially, the different sections will fade as they as as the cellos cross over into the violas as the violas cross over into the violins there's a graceful fade between the two so that when you're playing it stacked it all sounds smooth and you're not getting a big jump if you only want to work with an individual section though you can and there's some new little tricks that, I, that i'll come into later as to um some more things you can do with these separate sections now um that's that so let's get rid of that so no. Symphobia 2, we have some new goodies in there. Ghostly strings we have. Where are we? Ghostly strings. And there's a few um, different new patches here. So uh, let's start with Undead Trills. Yikes! Nice. And you've got these different um, variations what am I doing? What am I doing? Click, click, click. Oh, sorry, that was Kres Dim. So it will get loud and go away again. Uh, so not a huge range on this, but uh, it does the business, doesn't it? Crescendo. And for some reason, reversed. feeling that way inclined um these are really nice effects uh we'll go through them all here creepy bending so if you play it softly you just get the 
Creepy bending. Whack it. You, you have a little startle to begin with. It's got a, you know, it's got a reasonable range on this, bigger than the other one. Uh, full range, wide range, even bigger. And here you don't have that attacking option. So the full range is if you need that attack thing. If you're just doing creepy bending, what does a few notes sound like? Like that. It's not going well for your character if you're playing that, is it? Tonal, so here you can sort of... A G is roughly a bendy G. And barely tonal. It's a more extreme wibbly version. And that compares to... The atonal versions, which don't relate to a specific note. So even in that one patch, you've got a good variety to be playing around with. Really replace? It always sounds sarcastic to me. Crikey, blimey. Again, you've got this aggressive hit on the higher velocities and you've got mod wheel control and this is the same stuff crescendo did blah, 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 blah. let's play the sting yes it's that if you need that there it is um and reversed again really useful additions these Shrieking strings. Okay, mind your ears again. Here we go. Wowzers. I've just switched off my speakers. I don't think I heard anything weird. But I was having... I normally put this on headphones, but... Sorry if there was some... Additional ambience. Um, yeah, well, you know, that does the business as well, doesn't it? And you have crescendo dim. Obviously, these are all key switched. I'm clicking them here. And finally, some apparitions for you. Falling Wavy. These are all pretty well named. Falling Solo. I'd get away with that in Tom and Jerry as well, couldn't you? Bang. Uh, very handy little additions, those. So that's the new content. It's only Symphobias 1 and 2 that's got new content per se. But let's move on. Let's move on to the legatos at this point, because, as I said at the start, you've got... Um, they've reworked the legatos. In, in Lumina, Symphobia 3, down here, it doesn't have any new content, but it's still like a one and a half gigabyte download. So... That says to me that they've re-edited, they've re-recorded the material. You've got new samples. They haven't recorded new material as such, but they've re-edited it. Um, so. What can I say? It's Christmas week. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it doesn't go up there. that and you've got this whack it you see the how pointing at the screen like an idiot um you've got you can add a staccato if you 
you whack it. Or if it doesn't always sound, that's my keyboard. I apologize for every single time. So I, I, you know, stupidly, I didn't ha keep the old version, so I can't A, B compare that. Coping very well, even playing quite quickly there. Um, let's pick... Uh, let's try flute and clarinet. At that speed, I'm starting to hear the, the sound stage collapse a little. But it's not, it's quite, it's no disaster by any means. I think that is certainly improved. And so let's just go to solo horn as well. So there's a lot of success in here. Um, and that's all working very well for me, actually. Um, and good shout. Uh, that's very good. There's, you see this folder here, by the way, optional polyphonic layers, uh, that it's the same sounds and samples that we've been playing, but no legato, you've got sustain. So if you want to play those combos polyphonically, you can. Now, let me just pop over to Lumina a moment. Let's just see how some of theirs is doing. Let's try the clarinet from Lumina. Now, I don't know you are hearing more funnies there. That's all good. Again, when you speed up. That sound stage just narrows a bit. Slower speeds though. That's working okay. Um, the bassoon, I was hearing a few odd funnies there. One or two of these patches, I'm still hearing them. Very good. Uh, the trumpet. Now, from memory, this was one where I thought, huh, still haven't quite nailed it. It's definitely better. That's that hitting it hard staccato effect, which should carry on, but I think that's my keyboard, why it's not. Um, it is better. The I'm playing this through second or third time now, and sometimes I go, oh, I can still hear things, but then other times I play it then, and I go, you know what? That ain't half bad. Oh, that's a bit old. Okay, in that register, I'm playing it more softly as well. That's right, you've got oohs and ahs on. That's why. You've got to play evenly or else it changes between oohs and ah. That's 
very much an update worth having, actually, I'd say. that's It's not solved every Legato problem it's got, but it has definitely improved them. So thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Symphobia. You're um, very kind. Now let's just talk you through a few changes to the interface. This is common to all three, depending on exactly what mode you're in. You So this is the shorts, okay, from Symphobia 1. You can change them with key switches right up the top here. Uh, I'm hitting keys, it's above the keyboard that you can see, but I'm just, that's so so far so normal. But you see here you've got this slider as well. Uh, and if I just move that down, that's another way of changing it. Now you might be thinking, what's the point of that? I'm kind of thinking that as well. But I think one of the ideas is you can right click, learn CC MIDI automation. And then if it suits you to change things via MIDI CC, then that's suddenly you've got a whole new way of operating it. For me, nah, not good not really going to use that but i think some people will go oh great that means i can you know we're all different in the way we work um now so this has been here a while this slider between the two what's new is in each mic position you can change the output that's very handy so you can have your close going on one contact output uh you, some of these are on i've got three different mic positions and you can set them all to different ones, quite handy. Uh, under the hood here, there's a few other little changes. Round robin, we've got on. So if I play, which that's pretty good, it sounds pretty realistic. If I turn that off, I'm locking this just into position one. Now if I play repeating notes, it sounds like a machine, it doesn't wrote it doesn't go through the four different variations they've recorded but if you need to just set one for some particular reason on some it's one of those things that i think 99.9% .9 of the time you'll leave it on auto but if something's really irritating you and you just want a specific sound maybe this is quite a generic articulation as well so it's spiccato but some of the others are a little bit funkier and they change a bit and you might want one particular one now you can lock that or stack them all so now i've got well, if there's, I don't know how many, if there's 11 strings or something, times by four. So I've now got 44 strings playing that. If I play a chord, that's now 88 strings. And don't get excited about that. It's like, it doesn't sound more grand or bigger. I just think it sounds more fake. But if you do need to stack it, it's there if you don't. Sustain pedal, you can turn on or off. Purge, you can turn on or off. There's a few um, new goodies in there. Let me just see, did I miss anything? Uh... On screen info for all controls in contact. Um, hovering. Oh, at the bottom. There it is. Of course, there it is. I've missed that. Enable to. So you see at the bottom of the screen here, if you hover over anything, if you're not sure what it does, it will give you a little handy hint now. Um, it all looks a little slicker. That's there. Oh, this is another thing. If so, yeah, this is a good example to use. So you've got all these shorts. If I just want staccato in a template, when I deselect these, these now won't appear. They're not in the patch. If I now try and play them, it's silent. But what it's done is that it automatically purges it from memory. Have a look up here as I deselect these. Oh, it's going down, it's going down, it's going down, it's going down. Uh, 63 um, is used for staccato. And you can be as nerdy as you like. Uh, spiccato, that's just like that. That is now just a spiccato patch. and. Funnily enough, for Symphobia 1, I still like doing that in my template. I've got uh, a shiny new template I'm working on here. That's a very long per uh, work in progress. I will do that in another video as to why I'm doing it. But anyway, point is, um, if you can use all the new features of Symphobia and still just lock it to one articulation and only use that amount of memory, so that's quite nice. Um, that's, I think the update so it's well worth having it's i mean just a moment as well to reflect this symphobia one i think is about 10 years old now and you're getting new freebies all the time Soltesto is brand new and it was i bought this in 2009 i think um and it's amazing eight years on that i'm still getting a return on that investment you know obviously the buying price has come down it used to be about a grand and uh, it's on sale as I write, but I can't remember what it is at the moment. And obviously it's come down because that's the nature of the market. But it's like, I don't regret for a second having that price come down. 
because I, I've i got, A, so much use of it, and, B, I'm still getting new goodies out of it, and not many companies do that. Some some do. You know, they're not the only ones, but fair play to them. I think that's uh, terrific that, they're, that they don't abandon things and get you to buy some whole new range that have come out. They just keep adding to it and refining it, and uh, that suits me. While it's in my head, we're uh, dying embers of this now, uh, but sometimes people ask, um, some of these videos I make, uh, I ha I own the product in the case of Symphonia 1 I own that uh, it's a long story as to how I end up started doing these reviews but they essentially they said I said will someone please review Lumina and they said well no one's standing up so do you want to do it and I said yeah alright so they sent me it um, some companies do send me these things I always say yes as long as I can be completely honest and say exactly what I think uh, and if ever you catch me not doing that you'll stop listening to me so that's the way I see it Some so some I get given them uh, to review, to be completely honest, uh, to be straight with you. And uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, that's pretty much it. Um, a final plug, as I sometimes do these days, if I just switch to my browser. What was KVR? Hello, KVR. If I switch to this one, the soundboard is um, where I I help sort of run this place. It's a, it's a forum for... It's a general place. If you want... A, I mean, KVR. I love KPR, but honestly, it, it all gets a bit much. And if you, this is sort of a, if you want somewhere that's a little bit more reflective, that you have um, more time to talk among people who really want to talk and don't just shout at each other, then I suppose this is why we set it up. There's no advertising on it, there's no developer input. That's where we are at the moment. A bunch of topics that are recent, um, pretty, pretty widespread. Um, range of music that we all like or don't like but you're very welcome to come along it's at the soundboard.net uh, there's only one or two forums you can see unless you sign up well you don't you don't you don't pay any money but if you want to just uh, uh, just get a login and you can see the whole thing and join us if that sounds appealing if you want to scream and shout please don't go elsewhere for that but if you if you're fed up with the advertising if you're fed up with developers trying to plug their stuff all the time if you're fed up with all the noise and you just want somewhere quieter does it does it show that i'm 50 we're not all old but there we go that's why we set up this place an independent place that we can just quietly talk hopefully some sense all right uh that's it for today i'll be back with another one at some point uh you're all lovely i'm writing this where is it 30th of december 2017 so i'm going to wish you all a happy new year even if you're listening to this in five years time uh, i have retrospectively wished that you did have a happy new year in 2018 isn't that thoughtful of me all right uh, ta-ta see you again bye